Hello, everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic, too. And... That. I'm going to ignore her through the whole video because I spend our whole video just looking at her to make sure she's not going to bite somebody. Well, it's every man for himself. <laughs> Anyways, I have a couple pops and I have a um, little package. Um, I know what it is. I know. I can't stand it. I have to look in it. But I, sh I should have been expecting it. But... Um, it's pretty cool. I think you're all going to like it. It's not really Funko, but um, he's kind of my Funko pal. He actually lives in Eugene, Eugene and uh, we talk and see each other. Well, yeah, all three of us see each other every once in a while. And um, so, yeah, he's, let's put it this way, he's a writer. And, and uh, well, now that I've messed this up. It ain't getting no better, folks. Okay, anyways, I'm very, very excited to show you this. And I need to remind you, I don't know if you guys are... <laughs> How did I sit here and go from fairly well put together to being completely out of it? Who knew? Anyway, now this, see this still has to, there's one here. You know, I'm just never going to run away to Egypt or anywhere where I become a princess if they have to dress like this. I ain't doing it. Sorry. Oh, well, you're a queen here. That's right. No, actually, I'm the king. So much better. Okay, so anyway, I have no... Okay, so I, I will show you what I'm talking about. But first, I am going to show you my Funkos. Our Funkos. You may have seen this, I don't know, two other times, <laughs> but um, if so, then we'll do something with it. And I don't know when, how I did this. I may have done this little thing right here because they're falling, they're falling, they're falling, the cat's jumping, they're falling, I'm jumping, I'm falling. So it's, it's pretty much just a great big old mess. Oh, look, that's better. I'm go home now. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, of course, Captain Marvel, and she has got a glow-in-the-dark lunch pail. Now, unless you've seen it, you don't know what the lunch pail means, and I ain't saying nothing, because that is called a spoiler. I do spoilers sometimes on my website. Y'all should go see my website, popnerdentertainment.com. And uh, you might be surprised by uh, at least one other writer on there. Um, and you might want to be a writer on there. Jeez, I need writers. Come on, guys. How about somebody who wants to write about Funko Pops? I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'd rather not because I've got movies lined up like in a pattern over LAX. Around the world. Yep. She's trying to get up here. Now she's up here and wants down. Whoops, whoops. She fell right on her mouse and just never missed a step. I think I got gouged. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I got gouged. I don't even care. Only okay. Well. What? I know. You're you just need to wear something. Uh okay. Yeah. So that's this one. You know, if you're going to comb your hair, you can do it a little bit before we're on camera. And don't be like me, having to fool with this. Um, okay, this next one I was very excited to get because I didn't think there'd be many more in this uh, from this movie. Excuse me. Don't even come near it. Because you have no idea what kind of mood I'm in. Oh. You know, that could have been a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this works. Go the other way, 
How does it go the other way? This is. You see, these are on this side, so this side should go back. So these which side goes in the back? This side. No. Can you see how the? Bill will find about this later. Jeez. Knock down, drag out over who sh who should know how to put a headband on. Well, truth is, neither one of us do. There. You know what? Don't care how it looks. Don't care what you think. I'm kidding. I, I really care what you guys think. But he just tells me every time I ask that I look wonderful. Okay, anyways, I was very excited when this came up on the Funko Pop. Funko site because um, I figured there wouldn't be any more except, you know, maybe a, during a con or something there might be a special something or other, but this is very special. It's Glow in the Dark Limited Edition from the Funko Pop-Up Shop and it is Zoo. That's how I pronounce it. Anybody who wants to correct me, have at it. <laughs> this Zoo Zawu. Oh, Zawu. That sounds better. Zawu. Doesn't sound like Betty Boop. Zawu. <laughs> why do I have it in your face? I don't know why. Okay. Anyways, I really have <clears throat> just got this one today, so we haven't had time to um, check out the glow. And who am I kidding? We never do. We never check out the glow because, frankly, I don't care. It says glow in the dark. Great. Someday I'll get a black light and I'll just walk around my house because I probably got 40, 11,000 things in here. They're supposed to glow in the dark and I don't know if they do or not. Who wanted I, a cat? I know. I, I just wanted a kitty so bad. I think I got the best cat for us though. Okay. How are you all doing? Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I there was a bunch that went live today, a whole bunch. There was one of the flocked, but did both flocked go live today? Well, Target um, has or had the live, uh, one of the live flocked, one of the flocked um, characters from Toy Story. That was um, I, I no, Decky was on, on FYE. They're both out, both of the twos, um, flocked, um, <laughs> Toy Story are out. One's Decky and one is, is it a kitty? Is it a rabbit? Is it a made up animal no one in the world has ever heard of? Probably. Well, you know, you're just deprived. You're a deprived man in the United States. That's sad. So, this, oh, you know what? I just, there. It's a package that came, and I shall pull out the awesomeness that is in here. Now, I have had two books from him on, uh, on um, Kindle that I keep. I have to review them. But of course, there's a line, and there's also a line of movies that intertwines, and then there's a line of, of um, I can't even, it, it boggles, you know, I never have it like this. I've never, ha I, this is like what happens during um, award, season. award season, exactly. Um, you know, you get 10 things a day five things a day and then you get a knock on the door and somebody sends you a package with with um, DVDs this high except they're in little envelopes so there's not all the packaging you literally have like 50 DVDs and they don't say anything on them so you have to go online and see that what's what well she can't hurt herself with it I don't think <laughs> I didn't so she should be fine Anyways, so this is the premiere, I guess, of this book. I hope it's okay to show. I didn't ask him. Okay, his name is Jake Vamp. 
that may or may not be his real last name. But this is called The Vampire Goes to the Dentist by Jake Vamp and Gina Mireles. Mireles. Um, apologies for my horribleness. It, and illustrated by Jared Graham. So this, this man, this young man, if you were walking down a street, you might look up and say, hmm, good time to cross the street because he has tattoos on his head. I mean, he's really into the dark side, but then you get to know him for like five seconds and he's the nicest person. He has no malevolence in him whatsoever. Um, I would not want to be on the bad side of him because I don't want to be on the bad side of anybody, but, you know, it, 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 I would not want to do that, but he is wonderful. And so he, oh, you know what, he, um, this is so sweet, he wrote to Bill and Tara, you are amazing, keep up the great work, and he signed it. So this is a signed copy. And on the back, I don't think he'd mind if I showed you. And that's his little baby. And him. Did I mention piercings? <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like him. <laughs> I want all the tattoos and all the piercings. But, um, yeah, this is adorable about the little baby vampire who has to go to the little <laughs> late-night dentist and, uh, Dr. Vampy Dentistry. Uh, this is just so adorable. It's it's a graphic novel. Yeah, I would say so for for the younger set. Um and you can tell it's definitely made for a child to I mean, this will not only make your child want to keep, keep his teeth as clean as possible, but probably um, make him more interested in reading, which is the greatest gift you could give your child, is the ability to read. You can't do anything. <laughs> I'm trying to be, you know, intelligent here, and you're really making it difficult, especially when that's going on. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, you're just going to have to skip that. Um, this will encourage your child to read possibly even to want to draw and you know uh, these this is I could have read this when I was probably like five or six but I was I got the gift of um, reading very very early from two people in my family uh, who you know <laughs> I had a whole collection of Reader's Digest classics, kids' classics, and I went through them, actually picking out the stories that looked interesting. Like, I think I read, I don't know, 10 pages of Treasure Island and wanted to slit my own throat, but then I found Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is such a sanitized version, it was ridiculous. So I thought, hmm, let me see what Aunt Betty has. <laughs> And I started going through, get your paws off that. <laughs> oh my God. She says, what the hell I know. That? She's like, what was that? It's you, you little muffin. Hey, hey, you know, it's like, she's just like my oldest daughter. She's deaf. <laughs> As it turns out, my daughter did have some hearing problems. This one is free. She's freaked herself out so bad that she's sitting there. She's got the hair right on her spine. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, so I went through my my um, Aunt Betty's books, and I found um, a book called, it was a condensed book, called The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. And my aunt had a fit when she found that she was missing a book and that it happened to be under my place where I slept, which was a couch. And she said, okay, 
you can read that, but you have to write down every word you don't understand and look it up. So at the end of the first day, I may have had five words. We looked them up. She explained to me what they met, meant, and that was fine. However, her dictionary did not have the word ectoplasm. Go figure! So none of us knew what it was until we went to the library to check out some books, and we found a book on... Um, ectoplasm. No, it was a book of... Um, ghost stories that are real ghost stories like by mediums and uh, about mediums and they had photos and it was like this stuff coming out of their mouths and going around the room and stuff and I'm like mm -mm, nope none of that stuff's going around me will you stop it give me something to throw <gasps> Bill the light she's playing with the light Go get her. Get her run. I'll carry on. You get her run. <laughs> Help me. Anyways, I would suggest, highly suggest this. I don't know if it's come out yet um, to the reading public, but if you have a child, five, six, seven, um, you might want to read it with them because if they don't know what vampires are, you'll have to explain why everybody's out at dark and not during the day. Anyways, um... This is awesome, Jake. Thank you so much. And if I wasn't supposed to show this, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. It's awesome. Review to follow. Okay, so if you want to know about this, the drawings, you can watch yesterday's video. Uh, it has information, I think, in the beginning of it. Did she scratch you again? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, she did, actually. No. Yeah. Um, and it has what we're giving away, how you enter, and the whole thing. And I would like to thank, uh, Popcorn, Funko Pops and Unicorns for, um, including me in her, uh, way to do her giveaway. And I have gotten a lot of subscribers that way, and I really appreciate it. Uh, young lady, it's very, very nice of you, and I appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing a picture of when your your pops are all fixed up in their new space. The cat's looking at my foot with that look in her eye. So I guess I should just get this cleaned up before I have to run! Mommy, don't play that. <laughs> She's gone. It's like, ah! Mommy's on the warpath. Anyways, um, we are so happy to be here. We kind of waited really late to make this video. It's almost two. But I've been sitting here thinking of all the stuff I have to do. We wa I watched a movie last night. Review to follow, unfortunately. And, um... You know, when, once it's gone, I've got 10, 11 others and books, and my head is going to explode. But it's okay. That'll be a great look on me, I'm sure. And on Bill. And the cat. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic, too. And we say... Hasta la vista. Baby. 